Hi, this is Brian Forrester and today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite ancient places in Peru and one that I actually haven't visited for quite a long time but on this occasion an American film crew came down doing a documentary about megalithic sites in Peru and so of course as the guide I had to include this location um, so that they could film it they asked where it is exactly we are, what we're going to see, and I said, no, you have to experience it because it's one of the most special and most enigmatic places in all of the highlands of Peru. Here we can see some Andene uh, terraces built by the Inca, but the actual ancient site itself predates the Inca probably by several thousand years and it's typical of an Inca site whereby there is a megalithic core to it. So the Inca found this location and then built the Andeni terraces and a couple of small houses um, in the near vicinity. So this massive staircase of 300 to 400 stairs goes up to the location and if you want to look it up on the internet the conventional name is Nyaupa Iglesia. Nyaupa means ancient or the ancient ones. That's in the Inca language. Oh, there's one of the cameramen. And then Iglesia is Spanish, which means church. So it means the ancient church. And I've decided to rename it Nyaupa Huaca, which again is Inca. And that means the sacred place of the ancient ones or the sacred ancient place. Now it's quite unique in terms of its construction, as you'll soon see. We are now several hundred feet above the little stream uh, that runs down through a side valley close to the sacred valley of Peru. And now we're actually going up to the cave itself. So already you can see an interesting ancient thing on the left hand side, sorry the right hand side. On the left hand side these are Inca constructions and as you can also see it's a natural cave. But look at this incredible false door carved into the bedrock and this three level depression in a large uh, piece of stone and again there is the Inca element. So here what I call the false door as I said was carved into the bedrock the type of stone is volcanic. It's not granite, um, but it could be actually be porphyry, which is actually harder than granite, possibly 8 out of 10 in the hardness scale. So this would not have been something that the Inca could have done. Quite finely finished and um, just very enigmatic. Some people think that this is an ancient energy portal. It's definitely a place uh, where you can do meditation, as one of the film crew is doing here. And as I said, it's quite unique. Um, similar to what we see in Egypt, but in terms of Peru and Bolivia, as far as I can tell, at least in my experience, it's one of a kind. The acoustic properties of the false door are really quite interesting. And then this other component here was likely used by the High Inca for meditation and other purposes. But this is the actual Inca construction and the only other place where we find these exact shapes of depressions or windows is at Tiwanaku in Bolivia and Pumapunku. 
So that was our short but uh, interesting visit to this very special place. And now to show you how treacherous it is to get there, there's the actually, actually the supply train that is coming back from Machu Picchu going to Cusco. And looking down to where the little stream is, the main road and the train tracks, and the treacherous staircase that I have to descend. This is the actually the small section of stairs. It has recently been repaired by two foreign ladies who take care of this place, which is very nice. And then along this ledge, again, an Inca construction. And now the long staircase. <clears throat> As I said, th at least 300 or 400 stairs to go down. And that's looking back up with one of the documentary cameramen coming down. And then along the edge of one of the Andeni terraces. And if you look very carefully, the white object <clears throat> in the middle is our the van we, that we rented. Upcoming events.